Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I am your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, let's see, it is episode 34, I believe. Um, yikes, it is Saturday the 27th, so next to last day of summer. So before we jump in, let's go ahead and um, cover the trivia question from last time, which is, what is the loudest animal on Earth? And the answer is the sperm whale. So that's an interesting one. Trivia question for this episode is, who was the first female prime minister of Great Britain? All right, so you see here, it's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the dance of the moonlight jellies. Now, this one doesn't take place until after 10 so between between 10 p.m. and midnight, we need to get to the beach. The good news about this is that I can get anywhere on the map prior to 10 o'clock. Um, so we'll have stuff to do. The downside is I got to stay up really late, which means it's going to be a really long day. So we're going to try and make this day a little bit of a quick one. So let's get going. Uh, today, we got a few things on the to-do list. Uh, do I not have... There we go. So, we are actually going to try and purchase a shed today. So, shed. 300 wood and 15,000 gold. Do I even have that much? Oh, yeah. I made a ton of money in the last episode. Forgot about that. All right, so we do have corn and peppers. We got hops. We don't have blueberries, so not sure if we're going to get them. We're going to water them one last time. I'm not going to bother watering the peppers. Well, I guess I kind of am because they overlap with the corn and the tomatoes anyway so it's just easiest if I just go ahead and do it so boom boom, boom. we'll see if we get tomatoes one last time tomorrow corn will carry over to next season so that's why man I thought I had more lightning rods than that dang it look how close our fruit tree is go ahead and grab this stuff All right. You know, somebody had posted something about like only having a 15% chance of your tree, your mahogany trees making it to full grown unless you put fertilizer on them. But I don't know if that's right because I have not put fertilizer on them and I've got four of them out of what, eight. So, all right, we got more battery packs, which is cool. No hops that I can keep, though. We're only keeping regular. So let's just... Let's uh, let's go ahead and... We're going to save all the corn. No regular peppers either. So... Sorry. Um, ooh, I need to put some stuff into... My... Um... preserves jars so we put the hops in there that will give us pickles i missed one of my things up here there we go sorry no not there there boom let's go ahead and do another batch of iron we're low on coal. That's bad news, y'all. All right. Somebody made an awesome suggestion in the uh, comments that I should name my animals after people who comment on the channel. So I believe this was the person that did so. So they get the honor of being my first chicken. So, if any of you have objections to this, 
I'm kind of putting a, a spin pork launch on some of the names. Um, so, because I won't be able to put all of them. Let's just do... Goom, come here. What do you want to be? So, sorry, this is going to add a little bit of length to the episode, but not a big deal. Did I already get you? Did I already get you? Yeah. So anyway, we'll, we'll try and continue executing that strategy as we move along, yeah? No. No. All right. <clears throat> I see you over here, chicken. Freddy, you are now going to be known as Lady Shell. Boom. There's one more duck roaming around somewhere. Geodes, why do I only get stuff like that? I don't get it. Tramumo is now going to be Lego Jack. And give me some milk, please. Nine. I almost want to leave him. But we're not gonna. Pruny is now J-Dub. Wait, I already got... Prumbus is now... No love. How many milks do I have now? Three? I'm missing a cow. Is he still inside? There he is. What you doing in there, Putley? Now known as Kimmy E. I think that's all the animals. Let's just go check the bench. Yeah, we're going to check the feed bench here, and we'll put out um, some hay. We got four eggs. We got four milks. Gold milk. That means we're getting close to um, high quality, or uh, large milk, I should say. All right, let's go. I know I missed it. Wait, is it? Okay. Pretty sure I missed a chicken, but it's not a big deal. We'll, we'll get them all eventually, I think. In fact, I should be able to go to my save file. Wait, is this it right here? Grainy, you are now... There you go. I think that's all of them. Anyway, all right, what do we need to put away here? I can sell pretty much all of that stuff, right? Do I need to take the geodes with me today? I don't think so. So sell, 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 sell. I was I was torn between a shed and a um, stable. We're gonna go with a shed just because I'm really getting tired of my organizational situation here. Oh, there's another chest up here. Mixed seeds. Why am I only getting mixed seeds and geodes from those things? It's driving me crazy, y'all. I hear about all the good luck everyone else is having, and I get junk. Like, I don't even want these regular geodes anymore. All right, let's get moving. Um, the plan today is we're going to head up. Ooh. We're going to head into town. Have Clint bust open some geodes. We'll go to the museum, too, because now I know I have at least one thing I can drop off there. Um, we'll go to Robin's and have her start building us a shed. And then we might chop a little bit of wood while we're kind of up that way, uh, but... Ultimately, what I 
want to try and accomplish today is to do a little bit more fishing and keep trying to increase our cash situation as much as possible heading into summer. All right, so that'll go over there. All right, that's all we have to donate. What's up, Harvey? No time to chat right now, bud. I got to go fishing. So we're going to take the mines on up, or the uh, mine carts up here. Now, I see you there, tree. I believe this is the tree that Abigail likes to stand under in the rain. And so if you cut it down, she'll say something like, Oh, this tree, this tree protects me from the rain. And the tree isn't even there because it's been chopped down. <laughs> so there's that. Our house is in such a beautiful area, don't you think? I love the fresh air of the mountains. All right. Construct me a shed, woman. I didn't really look to see if... All right. So I want it in line with the house right there. <clears throat> now, I know that that only leaves like one spot to the right of it. But we'll move those sheds and furnaces to make it two spots where I can get through there more easily, especially with a um, horse. So she's going to start working on it the day after tomorrow because tomorrow is the festival. <laughs> but I don't think that affects how quickly it's actually going to get done. So, what's up, baby? Hey, have any interesting farm stories to tell me? Guess not. How are we doing there? Uh, do I have anything to give her? I'm sure some of that stuff she would like, like probably that grape, but it's not a big deal. What else was I going to do? Fishing, right? I believe so. So, let's just go ahead and we're going to just kind of fish from here. I don't think it makes a huge difference. So... I'm not going to fish all day. Um, I might... Well, I was thinking about going back and kind of trying to get organized for when I do have my shed, but it really doesn't matter. Ultimately, what I'm going to end up having to do is, once the shed is ready, I'm going to have to go in there and put a chest down and make it like my springtime chest. And then go out, grab everything from my springtime chest plus the chest itself, assuming I have enough space, and take it in and... Whoa. Whoa, easy fella. This is a sturgeon, clearly. Now he's cooperating. But can I get the chest? And the fish. This is the question. And we did it. What do we got? Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, one, we got this, which we can donate to the museum. Two, we got a treasure chest, which we can just sell. Um, I think it's worth 5000 bucks, And we're probably going to just go ahead and do that. Because we'll get another one at some point. I do want another one uh, for crafting. I believe when you use the treasure chest in the sewing machine for crafting or for tailoring clothes you get a pirate's hat which is sweet so we'll sell that one i'm i'm 999 percent sure <laughs> that's a lot of percents i'm 99.9 percent .9 sure that we will get one from a secret note eventually, which we have not discovered secret notes yet. I can't remember what it is that triggers getting secret notes. You might have to complete the community center. So, anyway. There are several things that you can do in terms of secret notes uh, before you even get the secret notes. But we'll save them. For when we get the secret notes. That way I can demonstrate what to do whenever you get a secret note. So. 
Anyway. That's all stuff for later in the game. I gotta remember to take a screenshot of my farm um, tomorrow. I'll try and do it when I wake up. Um, so we get kind of a look of at what my farm looks like on the last day of our first summer. So basically two seasons of progress. We can kind of see how that went. And eventually we can have a bunch of screenshots, hopefully, if I remember. We can have a bunch of screenshots that kind of show how our farm has developed over time, which is cool, I suppose. I didn't even really look at the luck. I think it was a good luck day. Because it, it does seem like we're getting a lot of treasure chests. Which is cool. I like treasure. We got a treasure chest with a treasure chest inside it. Full of gold. And other valuables. That we, we can sell for $5,000. That's basically a third of what we just spent on our shed. Put that together with all these fish that we're catching... And we'll probably get 10 grand of that expense back today. So if I can get... Remember, what did I say I need for um, fall crops? 17,000? Yeah, close to 18,000, basically. So if we... Um, man, we're running out of space. If I can get to like 30,000 again before fall, which it looks like I will, I can go ahead and just donate um, the 10000 to the vault in the community center and be one step closer to completing that room, which fixes the bus and gets us access to the desert. When am I going to have all the books so that I can stop dealing with those Eventually, we'll need to just go read them, but that's going to be something that will take a lot of time, so it might be, you know, something that will extend an episode. I know it's only 3.30, but I am considering cutting this fishing expedition short so that we can get back at a, you know, decent hour. Um, mostly so this episode isn't crazy long, because tomorrow is going to be a long day. All right, Rusty Spoon, Frozen Tear. I've got only have room for one more thing. Um, let's go ahead and do it. Whoa, whoa, easy, bud. Easy, big fella. I don't even have a trap bobber on, which is okay. We'll still catch most of the sturgeons. So I'm not real worried about it. I should have seen or looked to see if that took up that extra spot, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have. Surely it would have stacked with other gold sturgeons, right? Okie dokie. What do we got? Bullhead. I should just free up a spot up here, like move that sap down so that whenever... I get an item that doesn't stack, which might be that chest right there if I can get it. And here we go. Oh! Cripes. There we go. Now stay still, you rascal. Alright, I think we got him. Nope, spoke too soon. Stay down here. There we go. What do we got in the chest? Bait. We're going to keep going. I forgot to free up that spot. Uh, again. It'll probably end up being a treasure chest that fills that. Although, did I catch any green algae today? I don't think I have. Oh, I think that's new. Yep. All right. Let's go say hi to Abigail. And, no, oh, we already said hi to Maru. You can't miss tomorrow's festival. It's one of the most beautiful wonders of the valley. Okay. I'll be there. Don't you worry. 
we will be there to socialize. Let's just take a quick glance up here. And here's why. I can't get the grape. I'm going to throw away this one piece of clay. Grab a grape. Now we'll cut down these trees. Since I don't come up here very... Ooh, look at the artifact wormies up there. Two of them. So I might end up having to throw away several items. We'll probably get clay. Oh, a book. And a bone. Ooh, what are we going to get rid of? Mm, I think this sap... Sap is not real hard for me to get. It's not real valuable to me. So, got another bone to donate. I'll show you this while I'm up here. Huh? <laughs> not very helpful, is it? If you didn't know what it was before, you still don't know what it is. There's actually one more thing I'll uh, do before we head back. And I don't really remember what this does, but somebody actually asked me to do it sometime. So, here we go. Wait for it. I should have looked to see if there was anything I need to drop off at the community center. Wait, what did I just run into? I don't know. What could it be? We'll find out later, I'm sure, right? I need to get that. Um, wait, before I do this, is there anything else that I'm okay tossing that rusty spoon? So, what do we get when we fish into this fountain? A stone. I don't know. I don't even care about that stone. There might be something else. I'll need to look it up. Or if anybody knows what else you might... Pot Actually, let's check and see if there's any help wanted's. Although, no, there weren't, but if there were, I would have probably had to have completed it today. With the festival being tomorrow, it probably would have been difficult to find whoever I needed. You know, it could have been a hard one to complete, is the bottom line. Okay, there's our pale ale, so that's cool. Now, let's come here and let's hit that button. And then let's go here and hit that button. Why do I have these in here? Am I totally out of space over here? I am. Jeez Louise. Like, I don't even have anywhere for this sandstone. This is why I need my shed, y'all. I didn't... Apparently I didn't have this saved anywhere either. Oh, wait, there we go. All right, so we got a bunch of fish we can sell. That rusty spoon, we're going to keep it. You go in there. All right, let's come over here and do this. Boom, boom. That needs to go to Gunther. That needs to go to Gunther. That needs to go to Clint. Then everything else down here, that whole bottom row, we're selling. Uh, and then let's go ahead and start another pale ale. Right? Boom. Pale ale is for Pam. Cripes. Put it right there. Sell, 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 and sell. At some point... I'm going to need to figure out something to take up a bunch of energy so I can eat that food. In fact, I probably should just leave, like, the Autumn's Bounty behind and start using the chocolate cake. But anyway, is that it for the day? I'm pretty sure that's it for the day. Let's, um, is there anything else I can do? We'll start another batch of... Actually, we're going to start gold. Then we'll do iron in the morning. And we are dangerously low on coal, <clears throat> which is not good. All right, so I guess we'll just leave that right there. And is there any... Oh, I didn't check the mushrooms today, did I? 
grab those real quick. Boom, 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 boom. We're at 25 minutes, and tomorrow is going to be a pretty long day, which stinks. Tomorrow, we need to go to the traveling cart. We need to do some wood chopping in the southern part of the map. And then it's basically the Moonlight Jelly Festival. So, the problem is, you know traveling cart ooh 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 JW gave birth to a baby cow which is good because now I have a baby cow but honestly I don't want that cow <laughs> uh, so I'm not going to name it I'm going to just sell it okay so we got 10 grand which is cool we're back up to like 25 grand I believe uh, which gets us in the hunt to do that um sorry check the news do that community center vault bundle the next one all right it's a neutral day today which really shouldn't matter bread bread making can be a very complex form of art but i'll make it simple for you the most important ingredient is flour of course but before we create the dough we'll need to activate the yeast they prefer warm water and a little something to feed on i use plain sugar but honey and maple syrup will do. We learned how to make bread. Now, um, ooh, what's this? Oh, good morning, good morning, Mr. Uh, wait, he's supposed to have a Louisiana accent. Good morning, Mr. Evan. I hope it's not too early. Well, I just wanted to stop by and thank you in person for all the wonderful artifacts and minerals you've discovered. You've done so much for one person. In fact, I just received a letter from the Office of Regional Secretary of Artifacts. We are being honored with the coveted Golden Shovel Award for our significant contributions to the field. And it's all thanks to you. Well, I should get back to you, let you get back to your work. Ah, oh, wait a second. I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. It's an old key that has been sealed in a museum for at least a hundred years. It's a it's a little rusty, but it's still beautiful. So he gave me a rusty key. Hmm. So I have a skull key, and now I have a rusty key. What could the rusty key do? So we didn't get blueberries. We did get tomatoes. Um. So anyway, not a big deal. Let's get a move on here, people. Boom, boom, boom. Now, the only thing I need to water is corn. Right there. Grab the hops. What up, Koopa Doop? Check the mail. What's we got here? Yeah. All right, so 10 o'clock, Moonlight Jellies. We'll be gathering at the beach to watch. You don't want to miss this. See you tonight. All right, Demetrius. We will be there, buddy. We're getting low on bait up here. But it's okay. All right. Where did that go? You go in there. You guys go in there. You all go in there. Now, you go in there. I should have put that gold away. Boom. All right, let's get moving. I don't think the uh, museum will even be open today, which kind of stinks because I'd like to drop that stuff off. But since we now have this rusty key, we should probably figure out what it opens oh we got a large egg that is something that we need for the community center so that's cool <clears throat> yay our ducks are still little babies lego jack give me milk please come on there we go All right, now, which one of you is the baby cow? 
this little guy right here. We're going to just sell him for 472 gold. I want four cows. Eventually, we will have four goats. Um, so anyway, yes. He can go back to Marnie's ranch. Oh, we got a large milk, too. So that's also something we can donate to the community center. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and put that there. That there. Don't need any of this other stuff, right? Yeah. All right, let's go. What do we need to do? Ooh, look at this. We got a mahogany tree. Finally getting some more freaking pine tar. Come here. Wait. This one needs a tapper. Another chicken statue. Surprise, surprise. Grandpa buried a thousand of them. And they're really not even worth much. So it's kind of frustrating. Okay. Sell, 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 sell that stuff. Man, we got a bunch of stuff in our possession. And it's kind of getting annoying. Because I really want to get rid of a lot of it. We can find Pam today. Uh, so we got to go to the traveling cart. We'll go down there and cut wood. But first, let's find out where Pam is so we can give that um, pale ale to her. Come on, interwebs. What's going on here? Hello? T -t 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 today, Junior? All right, we're going to try the phone app instead. Villagers. Pam. Schedule. Is the wiki down? Nope. Never mind. All right. <clears throat> Regular schedule. She leaves her trailer at noon and heads to the Joja Mart. So... Let's go ahead and head there, right? We can probably go ahead and swing by the community center on the way there. We'll drop off the milk and the egg. Then we'll go see Pam. That will eliminate three things from our inventory. There's a sweet pea up here that we didn't get yesterday that we can try. Let's just try this one more time. Give me something other than stone. Come on, baby. Wood. Is that more wood? Wasn't there a sweet pea up there? Oh, Sunday. It reset. Phooey. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Animal bundle. Oh, we got three large milks. That's really good. That means we're going to probably start getting four large milks a day starting tomorrow. Okay. And we'll start getting duck eggs soon. That'll be one. I should get a large brown egg. How did I get a large white egg before large brown egg when I got my brown chickens first? So that'll be four. And then goat's milk will be probably the next one that we get because we already bought a goat. It'll be a week or so, or two probably. I should have made a point to loved on my goat today to increase his happiness. No help wanted out again. Ah, uh, George, you came out right as I was going to check your trash. Aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. Man, it's summertime, George. All right, if he goes away. Oh, there, Lewis is there blocking me from checking his trash. Another library book. Boom. Wait, why am I going in here? We'll say hi to Miss Evelyn since we're here. Sweet peas are in bloom right now. They've got such a lovely, a wonderful fragrance, haven't they? Sure. All right, Pamela, a ding dong. Sitting on the couch. Right where I thought you'd be. Your friends with Gus? He's a pretty good guy. He even gives me a free beer on my birthday. 
Give me that. Slurp. Ah, that's the stuff. It's real nice and hoppy. Notes of citrus and pine. But with a robust body to keep it grounded. So she's got a refined palate, which is kind of interesting for an alcoholic. But anyway. All right. So she might not be an alcoholic. She might just like to hang out at the bar. <clears throat> Traveling cart. Right. Yeah, we're going to just kind of head southward. Uh, can Lewis? Yep, he can't see me over there. We'll go say hi to him. Uh, I was growing blueberries, but they're all done growing for the year. Hello, Haley. You told me that last time. And I really don't care, so. Yeah, my face. Is Emily home? Ooh, cutscene time. Oh, I remember this one. She's sleeping. Okay. And here's where it gets weird. Man, this is going to be a really long episode now. I mean, really long. I will let y'all just try and figure out what the heck's going on with this one. Because... I just pop up out of the clouds. And there's like Hindu sitar music going on here. Why are you here? I don't know. It's your dream. These coconut trees have little like snowman faces in them with a, like a carrot nose. What's that about? Hmm. That reminded me of something. Even the tiniest, blandest, simplest light holds a wonderful secret. Now I know why you're here. It's a sign! What are you talking about? Poof. There's your sign. I just disappeared. That, believe it or not, is the least weird of Emily's cutscenes. <laughs> Oh, wait, is it? It's not even over yet? I think she just talks to herself here. Evan, there's something special about Evan. Our destinies will intersect. All right. That was weird. I'm going to just go ahead and leave. Like, even if you were in there for me to then go ahead and talk with. Actually, no, no, no. There is something else I want to do. Let's go find Miss Caroline. Because we got to befriend her. I almost want to just give her that chocolate cake, but I'm not 100% sure if she likes it. But we have not been doing a very good job of, of uh, making friends with her. Everyone's going to be going to church, so they, I think, hang out. Yep. Her and Abigail hang out back here, avoiding people, because apparently they're not churchgoers. There's the shrine or the altar for Yoba. So, social... Please tell me I have at least one heart with Caroline. Oh, uh, we do, but barely. Does she love chocolate cake by chance? Oh, come on, internet. Forget it. It's not that big of a deal. If we can get to two hearts with her by the end of... By the third... By the end of the third week of fall, that is our objective now. So we'll have to make a point out of trying to socialize with her whenever we have an opportunity where it's not, you know, way out of the way. All right. So we're going to chop. Oh, hey. What should I do on such a warm, lazy day? <sighs> Any ideas? I got an idea. But. I don't know if it's appropriate for me to tell you. Shane's gone a lot, and Aunt Marnie is busy all the time, so I have to invent my own games. Thankful for all my toys. I don't need to see Marnie today. <clears throat> Let's, um... In fact, the ranch might not even be open. All right, we're going to try and cut some wood. So... We don't have to be to the beach till 10 o'clock. Like, and you can't get there earlier to kick off the event. So, we're just going to have to kill some time. 
Oh my gosh. I was gonna say, where? Why are those things spawning right there? And it's because there was a hidden stone. <clears throat> so this will help replenish the wood supply uh, after what we just spent on the shed. So that's cool. Now we're not going to make any money today, really. At least not enough to get us. Uh, actually, it might get us to where we can buy the crops that we need tomorrow and go to the community center and drop off the 10,000 bucks for the uh, vault bundle. All right, I think I got the trees up there because I cut a few the other day, I feel like. So we're going to finish our sweep down here to the south. Now, as we get more animals, I will continue to name them after people uh, who have commented on the channel. I basically just went and made a list, uh, starting with the most recent comments. Speaking of which, where did we end up? Did we do Kimmy E? I feel like we did Kimmy E. So we're going to just delete those names that I did. Anyway, if there's anybody that I miss and you really want to be named after, uh, or you really want a goat or, you know, dinosaur to be named after you or whatever, feel free to, you know, drop that in the comments. Like, hey, man, you didn't name one after me yet. Now, chances are, if you have commented, I might just have not gotten down to your name yet. Because I've got, I still have a bunch of names on the list. So... It'll be my own little way of saying thank you for your commentary in the uh, on the channel. But anyway, because what says thank you better than being named after having a you know a chicken named after you? <laughs> so. But I suppose it's better than nothing, right? I can't name... I'm not going to have enough kids to name, you know, my kids after people in the comments. So. All right. It's only 420. We'll go ahead and cut, cut this one down. And try and catch the wood. Catch it. Don't let it fall in the water. That's okay. Okay. Back to the farm, I guess. And what we're going to try and do here um, is we'll sweep the shoreline, just kind of looking for crates real quick. So there's a mussel. Let's just look up here just a little ways. All right. Uh, I don't like you right here, little tree, but we're going to let you grow so that I can cut you down once you're full grown. So these trees, I feel like, are going to continue to uh, respawn. And I might allow that. As long as they're not encroaching on my crops there, uh, it's not going to bother me too much. It'll be, you know, a pretty accessible, you know, place where I can get some more heart, uh, more lumba. So that's cool. Keep it coming. Like, they're spawning like crazy. And I don't know if it's just because I left them there last time or what the deal is, but kind of digging it. All right. <clears throat> now, did I say hi to Cooper this morning? Yep. I do want to try and come in here and say hi to my goat because I don't think I got him this morning. Oh, Mr. Ezrid, apparently we did. Or whatever your name is. Easy E will refer to you. Did I check the mushrooms today? Or did I forget that again? No, we got him. All right. Now, we're going to uh, go like that. And that, actually, let's just do that. Okay. Now over here and do that. Oh, ooh, ooh. We're out of space for even our wood. Holy smokes, y'all. Let's take this out of here. Uh, 
This is craziness. I really need some chests. Let's keep... Oh, can't go in there. One large milk. We'll keep that sprinkler in there for now, I suppose. I should have gone to see if Gunther was open, but he's probably not. All right, let's go sell the milk and the oyster. And I believe there's really not a whole lot else that I can do today. So we are going to just... Oh, man, we're out of coal. This is bad. Nope. In fact, I'm not even going to smelt anything else. That will be my reminder that I need to go coal hunting. Let's do a sweep up around the northern part of the map, actually. Just looking for forageables. Because um, today's the last day of summer. In fact, speaking of which, here's a way I can make some money. Uh, let's go... Boom. Boom. That's five. One, two... Nope, 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 nope. You get back in there. Five. Five. And... Five. And now we sell those. Yeah, go in there. And... Let's go douche. All right. Now, we're going to sweep up to the north. Uh, just looking for forageables real quick. It's 810, so wait, wait, wait. I didn't collect my money from Pam. So now we need to discover what the skull key is for. Man, I should have done the rusty key today, but it's no big deal. We will remember to do that at some point, surely. <clears throat> so we got an extra grape out of our decision to come up this way. That's cool. Take a quick glance over here. We'll say hi to Sebastian. It's 8.50. We can pretty much start heading down to the beach. It's usually dark or whatever. I don't know what you said. You should really not smoke, Sebastian. It's not good for your health. Plain and simple. <clears throat> smoking is going to be one of those things that I feel like will eventually be looked back on in history uh, like smoking cigarettes and well maybe maybe cigars but cigarettes in particular it's going to be one of those things that people look back on it like why did people do that um, like it's one thing to chew tobacco but to smoke it seems really bizarre when you kind of wrap your mind around it. All right. 10 o'clock. Moonlight Jelly Festival time. We're just going to say hi to everybody. I'll just sneak up when the jellies arrive. I don't want to bother anyone. Okay. Well, summer's over. To be honest, I'd be happy to say goodbye to these blasted mosquitoes. All right. People miss the wizard up here a lot because he's just tucked out of the way. So he must have warped here. How did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. I'm here to observe the lunar loos, or moonlight jellies, as you call them. They possess an unusually potent magical aura for an aquatic life form. Okay. That's my uh, future, you know, in-laws and my future wife just chilling right there together. I am paying my respects to another bygone summer. I love that line. It's good. The Moonlight Jelly. What a remarkable species. We're very lucky that they stop here on their journey south. It's just unknown why they are attracted to light. Very curious. Ugh, it's past my bedtime. Hey, did you see the candle boat? I crafted it myself. It's kind of cold, actually. I guess fall is right around the corner. I suppose maybe that's why George was uh, complaining about being cold the other day. His sweater not being good enough. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think me too old to enjoy this or something? 
I remember seeing the jellies once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped with joy when they... I didn't see the end of it. But it was long ago, and I'm a lot less energetic now. Okay. Somebody over here? Oh, look at this! This is new. Hey, Caroline. Candles are romantic, aren't they? Oh, are you flirting with me, Caroline? It's just because she wants me to root around in her bush. Tea leaf bush, that is. Look at this stuff. So, Del, uh, you got decorations, which are cool. Moonlight jelly banner. You got cloud decals. A starport decal. A modern rug. You can get seafoam pudding, and that's $5,000. Uh, no thanks to any of that stuff. Can I get behind here and talk to him? I can. Psst. Make sure to swing by tomorrow. Get your fall seeds. Okay. Don't tell Gus. But I'm a little disappointed. There's no buffet tonight. I don't know why I give Pam a voice that is arguably male. Moonlight jellies. I wonder how they taste. I, uh, I would never try it, of course. Says Gus, the Italian bartender. Life is so easy for the jellyfish, just letting the waves carry you onward forever. I want to see the rare green jelly! Okay. Oh, I saw something moving in there. Something big. Something dark. <laughs> just trying to scare you. Such a rare and exciting thing. I wonder if they're poisonous. Maybe I shouldn't push Sebastian in the water after all. <laughs> Oh, Sam. I sh should have brought my camera. I always forget. Yep, you forget every single year. Can't believe summer's over. I feel like it just started. That's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stay over here near the beach. Jellies were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. I hope there are babies this year. Good evening, Evan. The moonlight jellies are close. I wonder. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. Most night fish would be scared of the light. These are strange ones. There! I just saw something glowing! Oh, it's gone. <sighs> so, Emily, I'm still weirded out by your dream the other day, so whatever. Eerie, isn't it? Hey, we're in my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. If we keep polluting the oceans, the jelly will surely go extinct. It's already in the process of happening. What a shame. We have no respect for nature anymore. Okay. Let's get this show started. Yes, launch the boat. We are now 53 minutes into the episode. Um, so we'll have this little cutscene here and then... As soon as we get back, we'll just go to bed. But, there goes the boat. Goodbye, boat. Crafted by Robin. Now, it took me a long time to realize that, you know, they talk about, like, the rare green jelly. Um, that rare green jelly, I'm pretty sure... Every single time they have this, it comes up right in front of me. Like, it'll come in here in a second. Wait for it. Come on, Green Jelly, where are you at? Look at the little babies. Here it comes. Kadoosh. So, it comes and it hangs out right there. And that's got to be a good sign, right? Pan camera left. Pan camera right. There you go. So that is it. For, oh, I forgot to take a picture of the farm. Perhaps I can do one right when we get back. It'll be nighttime. And we'll kind of lose its effect. So, uh, hang on. I know it just paused. Anyway. 
I had to put the reminder in there. I'll do a screenshot first day of fall, is what we'll do. The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on to the great unknown. There you go. End of our first summer. We'll put this grape in here. And we will go to bed. And that's going to do it for this episode. So if you have not done so already, please be sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Comment below, and we will see you all next time.